What's going on internet? Jossie Joss here, and it is the month of May, which means more boxes. Um, I actually got a bunch of them in. Uh, let me show you. See all of those over there. Uh, and a little preview of what I'll be doing today. Uh, but yeah, so I've been a little bit behind. Uh, the month of May has been kind of busy. Obviously, I had my birthday, um, my aunt's birthday, Mother's Day, and then recently I got into a car accident. So I've been dealing with that. And then my dog has had to deal with his eyes um, because he had eye surgery before and then he got some type of ulcer, ulceration in his eye because he scratched it by accident after the surgery. So he had to get medicine for his eyes and get that fixed. So he's recovering. And then most recently, literally this past weekend, uh, my mom slipped and fell and fractured her ankle. And so now she's just kind of recovering uh, slowly going around the house so we've had a lot to deal with plus I got a new car but it's not like a hundred percent because I guess the model has a couple of uh, recalls from Nissan uh, for the, um, the airbags and the ignition starter so those are kind of important things um, getting those taken care of this week and then next week I have to get the charger thing, like where you plug in like what used to be the cigarette lighter thing, uh, that needs to get fixed and a bunch of buttons on the center console. So just a lot of stuff has piled up for the month of May, which means, which is very fitting that I say piled up because literally I have boxes behind me that are piled up. So hopefully I will get these unboxing videos out to you as soon as I can. Uh, so for those people sitting at the edge of your seat waiting for things to happen. I apologize, all like one of you out there. Um, but anyway, today I do have an unboxing video for you. I'm gonna be unboxing the May 2017 Geek Fuel box. That was the preview. You saw the little red box on the, on the bottom there. So let's see what we got inside. I figured I would do this one first just because um, it was the one that was literally by itself when I put the boxes on the tables. It's like, oh, it's by itself. I guess I'll unbox that one first. Plus, it hypothetically shouldn't be too long of a video. Hypothetically. I've proven myself wrong. All right, so open the box. Ooh. And in the front, we got featuring Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, which is another thing that I can't talk about, but I kind of want to. Um, the ride, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. Uh, opens this weekend. It opens this Saturday, the 27th. Uh, so if you're going to Disneyland that day, be, especially California Adventure, be wary. It'll be very, very busy. Very long lines for that. Uh, so got Star Lord on the back. It's kind of cool. All right. So first up, we have this little print. One night only. Demo Gorgon versus Gelatinous Cube. Uh, twenty rounds event. Venue Castle Greyhawk, and there's a little Dungeons and Dragons logo on the bottom. I think it's a print. Um, and Dungeons and Dragons was kind of funny because I'm wearing the Dungeons and Dragons uh, zip up hoodie uh, from Loot Wear, so that's kind of fitting. And that's like, I don't know if this is an actual item or it's just an extra thing. So, but um, obviously Demogorgons and art and stuff like that are all from uh, Stranger Things, which is a TV series that I've yet to watch on Netflix. So, eventually. Um, there's a pop figure in here. We never get pops in the Geek Fuel box. This is interesting. It is Ray Gun Stewie from Family Guy. Uh, that's interesting. It's actually the first Family Guy pop that I've ever gotten. So that's interesting. It's Ray Gun Stewie. So he's got the little helmet with the blast shield and the little gun in his hand. He's cute. T totally random. Like, I have no idea what the theme is. I mean, I know Geek Fuel doesn't go for themes, but. Next up, it is an Iron Man coin, no, pencil case. So it's a like Marvel Comics Iron Man, uh, Marvel Comics official. It is a pencil case. I mean, obviously there's a piece of foam in there just to keep the shape, but wow. I'm gonna actually use this for work because when I'm in the office, all my pens and pencils tend to be on my shirt. So this might alleviate that in case of some, something's leaking I can keep it in here so that's kind of cool I'm more of a team cap person myself but for this case I'll, I'll accept it I'll allow it unless one of my Iron Man friends 
Team Iron Man friends who wants a pencil case or something. Uh, there's a shirt. T-shirt. It's like a gray T-shirt. I like this color gray, that like dark heathered gray. Oh, it's Dungeons and Dragons. That's that logo. Oh, and it's the, the, that, this thing. <laughs> uh, we'll talk about Demogorgons again, I guess. Maybe they're part of Dungeons and Dragons, so maybe there's Demogorgons in Dungeons and Dragons. I don't remember. It's been a really long time since I played Dungeons and Dragons. I think I played it when I was like a little kid. It was mostly my brother. But it says, the Demogorgon of Brine Flats. So I'm assuming they're trying to promote something through uh, Geek Fuel. You know, uh, Dungeons and Dragons is trying to promote whatever this expansion is. Um, and through this shirt. Cool. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Alright. As always, Geek Fuel has a downloadable Steam game. Um, the game is called Kaiju Panic. And it's a $10 value. $10 value for that. It says, jet across the globe as you respond to kaiju attacks, bizarre natural disasters, and unusual weather phenomena. Rescue every civilian and progress through a full story campaign to discover the true origin of the kaiju. So, $10 game credit for Steam. And then the last item in the box is their Epic Enamel series of uh, the pins that they usually do that are kind of characters designed like... They morph with their little Geek Fuel robot guy. And so these are, so it's Epic Enamel. Epic Enamel's a real enamel hero. There you go. Uh, and these are, they're, I guess these are supposed to be all the villains. So this is supposed to be, it's called Constrictor Commander, so Cobra Commander. Um, so you could have had, but the thing is you could have gone one of three. So I got Constrictor Commander. You could have gotten Destroid or Destro. And then the uncommon, the super rare, is the Serpent Emperor, which is that one right there. So I guess I got the common. In quotes. So. Uh, but that's cool. Um, fan, always been a fan of G.I. Joe. <coughs> i more a fan of the Joes. Except, except, who was that? Uh... You gotta remind me who the ninjas were from G.I. Joe. The good ninja and the bad ninja. Remind me, because I think they were brothers. Uh, it's been a really long time. Storm Shadow? Is that the good one or the bad one? God, I don't remember. Please, remind me. Who are the ninjas from G.I. Joe? The good one and the bad one. Remind me, please. All right. Anyway, that's all that's in the box for the uh, May 2017 Geek Fuel. So, in this box, everyone got the Dungeons and Dragons shirt. It says, uh... It says, it's time to break out the 20-sided die and pay tribute to the legendary RPG that started them all. Whether you're more partial to the original Demogorgon from the 1974 uh, Dungeons and Dragons debut, or just discovered the stranger kind thanks to a certain TV hit show, womp womp. Uh, you'll love to show off your geekiness with this exclusive license, Demogorgon of Brian Flats t-shirt. So it's a, it is a legit Dungeons and Dragons licensed t-shirt. Right, so along with the t-shirt, everyone got the Epic Enamel pin. Uh, so you could have gotten, like I said, one of the three kinds, and the rare one was that Serpent's uh, Emperor or something, whatever. Um, everyone got the Kaiju Panic game, which is a Geek Fuel, excuse, uh, Geek Fuel exclusive. Um, and then the Marvel Hero Super Pouch, there were five types of pouches. Um, if you look at that here, um, the one I got was the Iron Man. There was a Spider-Man one, a Hulk one. Uh, it looks like just a generic Marvel Comics one, because like I see uh, you know, Ghost Rider, uh, Doctor Strange, uh, Old School Iron Man, Spider-Man, Hulk. So it's just like a generic Marvel Comics one, but Caps kind of makes a little appearance there, and I think Wolverine somewhere. And then the last one is Spider-Man again, like a secondary Spider-Man. Oh no, sorry. This is Spider-Man, Marvel Comics, Hulk. These are comic book covers. I didn't realize that. And then this is just Iron Man. So, I wouldn't have gotten a just a Cap one myself, but that's still cool. I like the variety. That's always fun. 
Plus, it's useful. You can use it for pencils. All right, and then the last item everyone got was a Funko Pop, and you had a choice between the two, or not choice, but you had a chance to receive one of two. So you can get the original uh, Stewie with Rupert, or the one that I got, which is the uh, Ray Gun Stewie with the helmet and the gun. So Rupert's cute too. Um, I'm always a fan of little teddy bears, and Rupert's just adorable. So, uh, but that's all. That was in the May 2017 Geek Fuel box. Um, it, my favorite item is probably the pencil case. I mean, like I said, it's the most useful item besides the t-shirt, but I get tons of t-shirts like every month, so I'm getting kind of bored of them. I might want to change it up a bit. We'll see. Um, but yeah, the pencil case is really cool because you, you can use it for pencils and pens, but you can use it for other things too, like maybe if you're traveling light for like maybe like a weekend, you can use it as like a small toiletry. Uh, bag, you know, like with the travel toiletries and stuff, so you can use that instead of bringing like a big old ginormous bag. I mean, I don't use makeup, so that saves me a lot of space. Like, all I really need is like toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, perfume, uh, my contact lens stuff, and a brush, maybe, and then like a super small shampoo and a super small conditioner, or if you're able to, find a travel like two-in-one, so you can just go in the shower and get it over with. Or if you're also like me, kind of ghetto and slightly, you know, you know, cheap and, and Asian, um, whenever you go to a hotel, you steal the little baby shampoo and conditioner and because they leave it there for you to use. So if you don't use it during your trip, why let it go to waste? You know, they give it to you, might as well take it. So I do that sometimes. All the time. <laughs> um, but... Anyway, if the Geek Fuel box looks like a box you might be interested in getting into yourself, I'll go ahead and put a link and stuff in the description below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. I have a whole bunch of things going on there. Um, unboxing videos, tasting videos, random stuff. Um, uh, I know a few, like on my last month, I went to Knott's Berry Farm and I did a cool GoPro video of myself on Bigfoot Rapids. So you should check that out. Uh, but, um, that's it for me, uh, stay tuned for, uh, more videos coming up, um, but until then, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and until then, have a great night, bye guys.